Hey folks, what I have today is a bit different than usual. It is a resin, but it's not in amber yet. This is a piece of Madagascar copal, and it is a lot younger than the amber I, I'm usually working with. It's up to 1000 years, so basically, on, just recently it was dripping fr from the trees. And yeah, let's make it wet and I will show you something interesting about this piece. Yeah, all these black dots are pieces of ants that was stuck in it from the very top. I'm betting that after the prep there is some inside. So yeah, the mission today is to prep this piece to make it as beautiful as possible. And we will remove all the grooves from this piece so it's nice and shiny and hopefully we will see lots of ants inside. But that's not given, we will see. So I did take my Dremel with me just to try to remove, to cut the piece with the Dremel, but I am pretty sure it won't work because this is very recent raisin and it will be very soft, 100% it will start melting from the uh, heat when I will try to Dremel it. So most likely what we will have to do is to use sandpaper with very aggressive grit, 100 grit. But before that, let's weigh the piece. One hundred sixty grams. That's very decent. One of the biggest pieces I have cut ever. But if we are left with one hundred grams after I'm done, it, this will be good. Okay, so let's try dremeling it for a bit. Let's see how it reacts. Okay, so it's not terrible, I actually can cut it a bit, it does melt, but it's not terrible, I expected worse. Either way, let's do the time lapse on this front, let's make it even from all the sides. It smells a lot like a tree, wow, the smell is very strong. Oh man, it's super crunchy inside in some of the places, like these uh, whiter dots. Oh, wait. I see there's a difference, uh, like this one is solid, but these uh, cracks in between, very crunchy, I can just pick them up with my hands, nails. Whew, okay, so I decided to do something different, uh, just to try. For dremeling uh, it uh, until the end, I will try a little bit with the sandpaper with 100 grit, it's basically even more aggressive than this one, and it will be on the wet surface, so We'll see if there is any difference in doing that, so let's try that. Ultra wet. Oh, we took just a lot from it, quite fast, so I think it, it's even faster with just the sandpaper, so I will, uh, yeah, <laughs> we will go with the sandpaper from now on. It's my first time dealing with Madagascar copal. It's a learning process for me as well, trying different methods what works and what not. Similarly as Colombian copal, with rotatory tools it takes longer to cut this material because of how soft it is. Best and fastest is aggressive grit of sandpaper with water to reduce the heating. Okay, it's time to check the progress, how we are doing, but I can tell you right away, with just sandpaper of 100 grit, it's 1000 times better than with the Dremel, because with the Dremel, yeah, it does melt a bit, so it takes a lot longer, so let's see the progress, look at this. Wow, a lot more ants reveal themselves, there's some fat ones, some tiny ones, oh, every single black dot in here is the ant. The only issue is this the, in the center one, which is the fattest. With just sandpaper, uh, we can't make the surface uh, flat uh, near the ant, so we will have to try and dremel it out. But I will do that later. Right now, let's make flat this other section and this one from the side. Thank you. 
I think we are done with the first stage which is shaping. I wasted that much of sandpaper, even more, because what we are left with is this. It's not 160 grams anymore, I can tell you that much, but it's a lot more pleasant right now. It will be a nice display piece. And yeah, let's take a closer look on it. What do we see? Because there are some goodies in here. Each single black dot is a, a ant. There is basically a lot of ant in here. The shape is a lot more pleasing right now than it was before. It will be a nice display piece, just as I said. And the fattest ant is from the back. Maybe it was a queen? I don't think so, but yeah. This one right here is fattest ant and I did try to save it. I did try to save every single ant, it was not possible to save every single one, but I had to sacrifice one to unveil two ants, for example. Yeah, so now is second stage, which is pre-polishing with 1000 grit, 1500, 2000 A and 2500. Unfortunately, I can't show you much of different kind of prep, because it will be the same, just different grid, and we will get it as shiny as possible with getting higher and higher grid of sandpaper. So that's what we're gonna do, and there is not much to show, so we will just skip it. done with the pre-polishing, this piece feels really good in my hand, it has good size, it has a bunch of insects, bunch of ants to, more, to be more precise, and yeah, the pre-polishing <laughs> and the shaping, it took me hours, and yeah, now all that's left is to polish it up, and let's see how the Madagascar couple will react to my polishing paste, so I, I haven't polish it to Madagascar couple before, so I have no idea what the final result is gonna be, so <laughs> let's just get to it and we will see the results. Also, let's really quick check the weight, I guess it should weigh around, I don't know, It's it will be like 60 grams, I don't know, I haven't checked that yet. Oh, 80 grams, 80.6, so that's quite decent, it was 160, so it's twice smaller now, but I think it is worth it. We had cauliflower before, now we had a nice piece for a display. And we need more circular motions, <laughs> I'm a little bit tired of doing this circular motion, so yeah, not much left. Okay, I'm ready to uh, wipe off the dried polishing paste and I really hope all this effort was worth it. It took me a long time. Success! It did polish quite well. Hell yeah! As it turns out, Madagascar Copal can polish up quite well. It's shiny piece with good size in it. I really like it a lot. Quite happy how it did turn out compared to the unprepared state. And now the fun part, the ants. I counted over 30 ants in it. Few red ones, rest are black. Just imagine the situation these critters found themselves in a thousand years ago. Probably were looking for food in the forest when suddenly massive amount of raisin dripped over them. And all of that so they could be in my hand now. Not the best way to die for sure, but at least we can admire them in modern times. The issue with copal is how cloudy it is. Anything farther than a few millimeters from the surface are getting very fuzzy and impossible to get some pictures. I did some for the ones that were the closest to the surface. So yeah, overall I'm happy with this piece, and yeah, this is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it, smash that like button if you did, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and see you next time, bye!